Hello, today we will talk about the MOSFET layout and the cross section. It's a very famous, it's a very popular topic during the interview to test your fundamentals. So let's first draw the MOSFET. So MOSFET and MOS and PMOS, we talked about it earlier. And when this one, this one is a MOS. And in most case, this, this one is a drain, this is source, this is gate. And you have another one called body. And uh, same for the PMOs. PMOs and MOs are basically the same thing. You just, one is, when the potential is the other way around. This one is source, drain, and gate. So this will be the VDD connected to the D, high potential. And uh, this one will be connected to ground. Also the body. So the body is always connected to ground. You remember that. The body voltage is always zero volt. So in this case, the body is connected to ground, the source is connected to ground. So v VB equals to VS, so there is no body effect. We can talk about body effect later, for it, it will change the capacitance and the small signal analysis. And if VB does not equal to VS, there will be a body effect. How does that happen? So. It can be happening by, like, for example, if you have two transistors together like this, gate, source, string, body, this one be ground. The body, remember, all the body are connected to ground. This one connected to ground, this one is connected to ground. The, and this one be zero volt, right? The body will be zero volt. However, the source is over here. It's not zero volt. So the Vs does not equal to Vb, and there will be body effect happen. And the small signal analysis and the, the equation to calculate uh, the different parameter will be different in this case. But today, let's talk about how to draw the cross section layout in the facing in the device level, and it's uh, also very important to understand what's going on. Let me see. So first thing is, what is layout? Layout is basically you're looking from the top to the to the transistor. Cross section is basically the side view. You look at from the side. So, and you look from the top. It's looking from here. You will see actually the gate. Something like this. Gate are makes made of poly or metal. And the drain and the gate will be intersected by this poly. So this are the this one is the gate which are polyometal and these are the diffusion which are the drain or the source is symmetrical drain or source. Is when when the diff, when the diffusion this one a diffusion. When diffusion and the poly they intersect, you have one transistor. And if you have another poly like over here, in this case you do have two transistors because they connected two times. So that's a top view, top view or no. We forget forget one thing. There's another one over here, it's the body. The body is the same as the source in this case. So this is a top view of the NMOS. And the top view of the PMOS is very similar except, except for one thing. So you have the poly, poly, you have the diffusion, which are the drain or the source. So this one can be drain or source. This one can be drain or source. And you have a body. These are the body. One different thing is you, you will see something surrounded it, which is called unwell. And that's a PMOS. So you, you will see why it's unwell when we are drawing the cross section. So let's draw the cross section, which are the south, which are the side, side view. So when you are looking at the side view of the NMOS, you will see something like this.
commonly in the textbook. Basically, something like this. So, this are p substrate, the most p substrate, which is zero volt grounded, zero volt, and uh, and everything inside are p plus, p plus, p plus, p plus everywhere, and the drain and the source are actually n plus. N plus and N plus. So this one can be drain or source. This one can be drain or source. Depend on, depend on the biasing voltage. Depend on VDD. And over here is the gate. These are the gate. Which are which are MOSFET. Right? What is MOSFET? Just to remind you guys. MOSFET are M stands for metal. O stands for oxide. And uh, the top one will be metal, and then it's connected to oxide. And then the bottom part are all diffusions. And in this case, it's almost, you remember that the body is always connected to ground. It's always zero volt for MOS. And for PMOS, it's always connected to VDD. For this case, then this one is zero volt, we create another one. N plus, no, P plus, actually. This one will be the body. Which one is, which is zero volt over here. And that's the cross section of MOS. When they ask you during interview, make sure I can draw that. And then let's talk about the PMOS cross section. PMOS is similar except for one thing. You have this one. Still a P substrate, there's no N substrate. Other thing are the same. You have a metal, you have an oxide, this one at the gate. And the P substrate, you can you have this one is uh, instead of N plus, this one be P plus. For drain or source, this will be for drain or source. And uh, instead of P substrate, you will draw an N well inside. N well. Remember this one or the N well? N well means the, the everything inside will be N plus, except N plus diffusion, <coughs> except for these two P plus and the P, these two P plus for drain your source. And uh, you will have an N well will have a higher potential, high potential. So that's why you have a N plus for the body bulk. You remember that the PMOS body is always connected to VDD. So that's how you draw the, that's a cross section of the PMOS. And uh, yeah, that's it.